Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about the LUT. So I guess I can consider myself really lucky to have seen these already because I feel like this has only been out for a couple of people, like in festivals and everything and I also watched it on a festival here in Portugal as I've mentioned, if not here, I definitely mentioned on my Instagram and Twitter and everything so I went to the horror festival here in Portugal called Motel X and they had a screening of The Lodge so obviously I really wanted to watch it mostly because it has Jaden Martel uh, you might know him from It is Bill, the kid version of Bill and yeah, I really wanted to watch it be mainly because of him and also I watched the trailer and it looked interesting and it's by the same directors as Goodnight Mommy and although I didn't really like that movie I was interested to see if they get better so yeah without further ado let's get into it so if you don't know what the lodge is about it's basically about two siblings um, that spend two days alone in a cabin a house in the mountains with their stepmom and as you can imagine stuff starts happening as it usually does in isolated places and yeah I'm not going to say much more because I actually think the trailer does a good job at not telling you what it's about so yeah I'm going to leave it at that the movie stars not only Jaden Martel as I've mentioned before but also Riley Kug, Leah Malto, I don't know if that's how I pronounce it, and Richard Armitage. They're all actors that I kind of know. Uh, at least I know really well, as I said, Jaden and Riley Kug. Um, and I also know Leah from one of the episodes from Into the Dark. The only person that I don't really know is Richard Armitage, but. I'm sure I've watched something with him. Post that, let's get into my thoughts. First thing I have to say about the movie is that it's so unpredictable. It's not your typical horror movie, um, a bit just like Goodnight Mommy, but in my opinion, better. Um, but it's not the jump scare type of movie. It's really slow, I would say it's a slow burn, but has a good building um, and it just basically relies on atmosphere and I've been starting to like that type of horror movies I'm not a big fan of jump scares and I like atmosphere and disturbing stuff most of all like I prefer those things um, to jump scares it's one of those movies that keeps you guessing the whole time and I really like it because I know I did, I know the my friend that went with me also felt the same like you start watching it, you think it's about one thing then you start thinking that it's about other thing and then you are pretty sure you know what it's about and they just dropped something on you um, it's pretty clear they tell you what's happening uh, although the end is a bit open I would say but you you get what, what it's about like it's not one of those movies that you just feel awkward and you didn't really understand no it, it tells you what happened but it just like makes you keep guessing the whole time until almost the end which I liked actually I have to say I never thought I would like this as much as I did mainly because I didn't really like Goodnight Mommy so I went with kind of 
low expectations. Um, I didn't think this would be bad, but I wasn't that that hyped, uh, which I think turned out great because I really liked it. It's a really grand movie, but at the same time really different and now that it's been a couple of days I'm kind of fine with the score that I gave but as soon as I came out of the theater I was a, a bit conflicted because I really liked it but I thought I was giving a too high of a score but at the same time I didn't it's really confusing but now I think I'm pretty fine with the score that I gave so yeah I guess we're just going to jump into that so overall I gave it a four and a half out of five uh, yeah one of the best movies I've seen this year actually this last couple of days that I went to the festival I've watched a lot of good movies so it's going to be a tough work uh, when I get to my top 10 movies of the year because there's still some movies to watch and, and I already have a lot on my favorites so yeah cinematography wise I gave it a 4 out of 5 it's really beautiful to look at it has a good like color grading but it did have some shots some angles that kind of bothered me at the beginning but as the movie went on I started getting used to it, so yeah, I think a 4 out of 5 is good. And originality wise, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 because it's not like I haven't seen something like this. I feel like there's something similar out there. It's just the way they put it, it's different, but at the same time, the ending crossed my mind while I was watching it but then as I said it just keeps you guessing then you kind of forget yeah so I think three and a half is a fair score for originality so hey guys these are my thoughts on the lodge I know most people haven't seen it yet so uh, I guess let me know in the comments if you're excited about it if after my review you're even more hyped up or not um, yeah let me know all your thoughts and expectations in the comments and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you in my next video bye